forgot my damn battery for my camera. So you guys gonna be getting this video off the GoPro. Um, we're gonna be using the GoPro inside the car anyway. So um, most of the video you guys was gonna see was GoPro video. But yeah, man, we're here at Abe's place getting a little review on his Type R. We're gonna talk about his story on how he got the Type R. Um, I know a lot of you guys trying to figure out like what happened to the knife gen. The 500 knife gen that uh, I didn't review but drove that you guys watched the crazy video on. I'll show the clip right here. Yeah. Abe's gonna explain everything that happened. We're gonna talk about the mods, what he loves about the Type R, what he dislikes, stuff like that. Go for a little drive, smash it in a little bit so you can see this bad boy rip because the man, she looks good as hell in person. Look at the seats. Look at the seats. Woo! Fire. All right, guys. So back again with Abe in the, in the passenger seat. What's up? Uh, if you guys don't remember who Abe is, Abe is the one who had the knife gen, the 500 horsepower knife gen. Uh, I'll put another clip here if you guys don't remember it. Um, that knife gen was crazy. <laughs> explain what happened to it i would rather have him do it because this is you know it's his car so abe what happened to the night <laughs> <laughs> all right so full cool story um if you guys are familiar with the night gen platform um when you go boost you can't really do boost by gear through honda like you can with the eight gens the rsx's it just the, that that nine gen ecu doesn't have that extra I guess it's the pulse width modulation output, or the PWM, whatever. Um, so I, I took it into my own hands to set a boost bike gear, and I did it through a momentary switch. Um, so I was in, doing a pull in between boost, you know, settings. So I was maybe pushing 12 pounds in like second or third gear. I, I can't really recollect because it was crazy. And then I went from 12 pounds to the next gear, which was 19 pounds, and the stock rod just didn't like it and made a window in the block. Hot oil hit the turbo, and you know the rest. <laughs> RIP. But yep. as you guys can see, he upgraded to a Type R. I originally thought I was gonna get a Supra, but you know things happen, and he got a Type R, and I'm I'm really liking it, man. This is really really <laughs> freaking nice. Like the seats and all, the seats are very like they hug you in, yeah. rather than like how the knife gen just you felt like if he was taking a corner, you felt like he would fly out the seat. But uh, yeah, this man. First experience, starting it up and everything, gears, feels nice. I can see me driving the Type R, no lie. <laughs> but I don't see me doing the payments. <laughs> Yo. The payments are crazy. Yo, they're, they're, they're a little more hefty than the 9th gen for sure. Yeah. But, you know, fortunately, I'm still able to make the payments. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put a, a hashtag, I need to be rich like A. Oh, no. <laughs> My son. Yeah, you're good. So it'll, it'll tell you, so come out. It'll tell you right here when you're in gear, right under the plus R. So clutch in, let go of it a little bit. You're good. It's just a light clutch. Dang. I don't like this this thing. <laughs> what the heck? It's his first time driving manual, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> first time driving a Type R, man. <laughs> yeah. So like, it's like I'm driving a Camry. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't. It, this, I like the steering. The steering feels very like stiff and tight. Yeah, yeah. So really, really nice. It has different settings. Like it has right now on startup, it goes to plus R. From factory, it just it starts in sports mode. But once you get Honda, you have the option of just starting it. In oh, plus R. speaking about Honda, I heard you have to like do something crazy just to okay get so, it to work. So initially, when the Type R first came out, you had to ship your ECU to Honda, right? Jeez. And they'd have to do the unlocking process there. Now all you have to do is have an internet connection, right. connect the Type R, or not the Type R, the Flash Pro to a computer, mm -hmm. and you can do it, uh, the unlock process uh, remotely. Oh, okay. So it's just a push of a button basically. Instant jailbreak is what they call it. Oh, like that. Yeah, well, I heard like That's it was costing it. like $1,000 to do it though, yeah. like before. Is that true? or the, I think overall cost, because Flash Pro is like what, 700 bucks brand yeah. new, and then you pay another two, $300 to do jailbreak so the jailbreak cost 200 bucks yeah, yeah which sucks i don't know if i ever can transfer that jailbreak to another type r if something were to happen this one and i buy another one yeah so like i feel like that's a one-time thing so if i ever got another type r i need to get the jailbreak again if i bought honda 
I have a stock clutch, and this clutch is like so damn light compared yeah, to Yeah, and me. it's actually a little heavier than what it used to be. Yeah. I did the, um, the clutch delay valve in it. So, as you know, all these Hondas with the clutch delay valves, like, it kind of makes shifting quick and high RPMs a pain in the ass because right. you grind gears. Yeah. So, this did the same in second. I did the clutch de delay valve delete, and then I adjusted the clutch pedal, mm -hmm. and I don't have that problem anymore. This has what's it called? Auto auto rev match. Yeah, right? auto rev match. So if they get down to the third. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's nice. Yeah. I really like the interior. The interior is really freaking nice. Yeah, nice interior. S steering wheel is real nice. The uh, so this is a 2018. I think in 2020 and the 2021 they had that the same. The steering wheel is the same material as the seats. Mm -hmm. I think it. I don't want to say this wrong. It's called like Alcatara or something oh, like that. Oh, uh, Alcatara? Yeah, yeah, that, that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say it incorrectly. Like, boy, I learned how to talk. <laughs> you know? It took me a while to say it too, no lie. So, yeah, it's that same exact material. This next light, you can make it look. Same material. And the thing that just worries me about that, like having it on the steering wheel, is the wear. You're constantly touching it, constantly, yeah. you know, the wear and tear on it. So I'm happy with this steering wheel. So what's the mods done to it? Oh, okay, so let's go over mods. So. Initially, I bought the car. I was like, I'm not doing nothing. Yeah, yeah. Keeping it stock. Keeping like, it stock, man. This is going to be a daily driver. Dude, Next lot, thing you know, it's no. making a freaking hour. Yeah, man. So, like, initially, stock power. It was, it was okay, man. The only thing I just didn't like is that, like, stock, not really stock K series, but, like, K series, all motor K series. Just keep, keep up, up with yeah. me. Yeah. So like I was like nah man, <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna be the highlight of someone's video <laughs> like uh, getting gapped getting gapped by an all motor uh, freaking engine yeah man like no nah, man so the first mod I did on the car was a drop in air filter initially and that already does wonders for the Type R because the, yeah, really? the stock air filter is restrictive and the stock air box is already very efficient. So I did a drop in high flow air filter and that freed up some power. Honda did their own independent tests. And then, a couple years ago uh, but since then the PRL has come out with their high volume intake is what they call it and they really haven't done side by side with that but the stock airbox actually outperforms aftermarket intakes yeah yeah and now you add you add a high flow air filter it makes it even better so that's what I did initially um, and then I started hanging out with too many type R boys <laughs> Too many chats, too many discussions. That's what happens when I hang out with you. I want to go boost. <laughs> yeah, man. The influences, the outside influences really make you uh, make decisions that aren't financially the best. But yeah. I'll tell you why I was able to afford my Boltons. This is this is the spot where like I like to do the twists and turns. So yeah. you kind of make your own road course, right? Yeah. And yeah, just go at it. All right, so, you, oh yeah, finish up saying uh, how you got the full bolt-ons. Oh, let, let's finish, sorry. It's rudely interrupted <laughs> by a phone call. So, I don't even know where I left off. High flow air filter. All right, and then after that, I uh, got the downpipe. Downpipe frees up a lot of horsepower. A lot on these turbo cars. Obviously, Honda got Honda, which is important. So, downpipe, PRL high volume intake now. Um, I got rid of the high flow air filter. I wanted the uh, the more of the whoosh sound from the, yeah. from the blow off yeah, valve yeah. or the recirculation valve. Yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted more noises, so I went and got the high volume intake, which is proven to be an efficient intake for the Type R. And what else do I have? Just those. Yeah. yeah. Downpipe intake. Oh, PRL intercooler. Oh yeah, intercooler. Yes. Uh, tune. Oh, tune by Fearable. It's a Fearable Stage Two off the shelf tune, and it puts in work. Look at some videos in. That's yeah, I'm gonna put some of his videos in uh, the video so you guys can see him gapping some cars that shouldn't be getting gapped. And now, you know, got some saucy owners. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, man. It feels nice. Yeah, just, I usually, what I do is just, yeah, just, I just throw it in second. I'll just Ooh, what's speed up and just make the turns. All right. All right You'll feel like the car's gonna flip, but it's not gonna flip. <laughs> <laughs>
Whenever you're ready, I'm down, bro. <laughs> This is the one. Yeah, this is the one at the manifold, the intake manifold. Mm -hmm. This is the one uh, the at, the, at the intake. Oh, okay. So before in a cooler, after in a cooler. Okay. All right. So like, go ahead and just take a peek at it. And this is why I love the PRL intake or the PRL, yeah, intake and the intercooler setup because.
driver's seat, I just don't feel the power. But like when I'm like in the passenger seat, I feel it. The third gear hit you, huh? Yeah. That third gear hit me too. Yeah. So like the tune, how it's set up, it it, it has. Man, how do I make this into something that will make sense to the viewers? It's like, and they won't call, they won't call me stupid because <laughs> the way the Type R, the way you tune it, and if someone can maybe correct me in the comment section if they do, like there's torque values and torque targets that you hit per gear. So it's almost like a boost by gear. So first gear is not as rowdy as second gear. Right. Third gear is a little bit more rowdy. And then fourth gear you get- Yeah, you can hear it too. Yeah, you get, you get the full set in fourth gear. So that's how Fearable kind of set, uh, set up the tune, the thought that is a station tune. So the power you get in first is not the same power you get in third. It's more power in third gear. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to mention this. How I was able to afford some of my parts Oh and yeah. It was. It's not because I'm Jeff Bezos, as you, <laughs> you said once. <laughs> uh, it's because the stock downpipe on the Type R is worth a lot of money. And when I found that out, that it was worth a thousand dollars, I took it off the car. Oh well, no, sorry. I bought my downpipe. I bought an intercooler, and I took that damn stock downpipe off, and I sold it for a thousand bucks. Thousand bucks, and that paid for my bolt-ons. <laughs> and that's why. People, ooh, that's a nice Camaro, no lie. Yeah. And that's why people are out here stealing uh, Type R cats, M3 cats, Hellcat cats. Yeah. They worth so much. Yeah, a lot of money, man. And people didn't realize how expensive they were until they get their stolen. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe follow my boy abe at uh abe underscore F fk8 right yep. yeah abe underscore fk8 i have also started posting more videos on youtube as well it's just yeah youtube uh, is just abe i'll put his youtube yeah. link down here too and yep. uh, in the description in case, in case you guys want to go watch his races this man that's the deal <laughs> trying to put it in man. trying to put it <laughs> in work for the deal. type R owners a lot of type R type R owners don't don't really drag yeah. race their cars or roll race their cars yeah they they like the track stuff yeah but as you guys heard, he is thinking about doing track stuff. So make sure you guys stay linked up with him. Um, most likely, he's going to be posting more content. And I definitely know it's going to be fire. So yeah, man. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy Instagram. My underscore, underscore got the soda. I almost said Zuby. But yeah, your boy's out. Peace. <laughs> See y'all. <laughs>